I'm Gregory Floyd, President of Local 237 Teamsters. Welcome to Reaching Out. Our guest today is Eleanor Tatum, editor and publisher of the Amsterdam News. Eleanor, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me here today. Tell us the history of the Amsterdam News. How did it get started? Why was it started in... Uh, 1909. 1909? It was started in 1909. 100 years. Yeah, 100 years ago, yes. And it was started in what was then called the San Juan Hill section of New York. It's where, the, where Lincoln Center is currently, so in the 60s on Amsterdam Avenue. And uh, it was founded by a man named Charles Anderson who had his wife's dressmaker table, four sheets of paper, and a pencil. Wow. And uh, with an investment of $10, he started what became the Amsterdam News. And uh, it originally sold for two cents, and it was the, the voice of black New York starting in 1909. And very quickly, it, they ran out of space in his apartment to put the paper together, so they moved up to Harlem. And they've had three offices in Harlem, and the one that we're in now, uh, between 125th and 126th, we've been there since the 1940s. Wow, it, we, we want to compare that. 1909, there was another organization that started in 1909, too. Yes. Do you know what that organization that was? That would have been the NAACP. Correct, yes. And just the year after that, the mm -hmm. National Urban League was started. So that time in history was very, very important to the black community because that's really when the civil rights organizations and a lot of newspapers began right in that area of time. And the Amsterdam News was founded on the same principles that most black papers were founded on. And uh, Cornish and Rustworm, who had Freedom's Journal, which was the first black newspaper, uh, had an editorial in the first issue that said, we choose to plead our own cause. For too long have others spoken for us. And that is really what the mission of the Amsterdam News is to this day and many other black newspapers, to tell the story in our own words. Because other people have always talked for us yes. and about us, yes. rather than letting us tell our own stories. And that's what we pride ourselves on at the Amsterdam News, that we're telling our stories in our own words, using our own experts, so that we can talk to our readers about what really affects them and how it affects them on a more personal level. And speaking of telling our stories, there were two I would say historic issues, and I bought multiple copies of uh, the first one was uh, President Barack Obama's inauguration. That was a commemorative issue, and I, I know your paper sells for still sells for a dollar. Yes. Uh, that issue was going in some circles for twenty dollars. Yeah. Well, sale. we sold over two hundred thousand copies of our inauguration issues. Um, it was a huge seller, and it, what it shows you is that the black press is still the place that people go when things like this happen in the world, when there are milestones. I mean, you know, also the Michael Jackson issue. Sadly, that was the second issue. I was but what was very interesting is the Amsterdam News comes out on Thursday. Michael Jackson died on Friday. And people were, well, actually, he died Thursday afternoon. Yes. People were at the Amsterdam News on Friday looking for our newspaper coverage on it. And we're like, I'm sorry, we don't come out again until next week. Next week. And then the following week you came out and you had the And we had a special color, issue, special yes. Special issue in the poster just as you did Barack Obama. Right. And of, of course, just as I did that issue, I bought multiple copies of it, and I still have them for my collection, and I'm yeah. going to give them to my children when I think they're able to handle it. Well, you know, the, the fact is that we tell our stories like no one else does. And if you look at the black newspapers across the country, they are the ones that are held and remembered. I, you know, even when Kennedy was assassinated, when Martin Luther King was assassinated, I mean, of course, it's all these things that are, are sad times, but the Amsterdam News and other papers like it are the ones that people hold on to and go to immediately to find out what really happened. I wish I had a copy of the issue when uh, Kennedy was assassinated and also when uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated. But I, I do have a copy of a Jet magazine which sold for 25 cents that my grandmother left me <laughs> from that era. <laughs> well, so, you know, but th those are the iconic yeah. images of black America are held within the black press, whether it be Jet or Ebony or the Amsterdam News or Essence or the Philadelphia Tribune or the Chicago Defender. We have told the stories of black America like nobody else has. But Eleanor, last words? Well, it's just a pleasure to be here with you. You know, what you're doing with the Teamsters is great, and I am just so happy to be able to sit here and chat with you and uh, know that this is going out to your members and to the city at large. Thank you. This has been Reaching Out. Our guest was Eleanor Tatum, publisher, editor of the Amsterdam News. 
I'm Gregory Floyd, president of the Teamsters, and thank you for listening. 